What's up everybody? Welcome back to episode... I believe this is episode 9? I think? 7, 8, 9... Yeah, I think we're up to episode 9. So welcome back guys. In the last episode we got through a all pretty much all of the puzzles that we needed to to unlock this door. Now this is the door to the prison which I think we're going to find a massive prison and then we have to unlock Calliope's cell if she is even in there. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, basically last episode we just did a bunch of puzzles. We uh, finally got to do the printing press which had the password to this door. Or like the... Yeah, basically password. Uh, we cracked a safe. We did a bunch of... Uh, like kind of just jigsaw puzzle things and that sort of stuff find a bunch of objects uh, and we managed to get this sticky resin that we have no idea currently on what we need to use it for um, but yeah we're progressing forward we might find Calliope in here but she'll probably is what I'm expecting be snatched away right at the last second as we we go to save her um, so yeah with it let's just let's just jump back into it let's see What did I what did I just say? <laughs> what did I what did I just say? Boy, well, he looks so sad. Can we can we take this mace? Oh. Eliabe was here, but we're too late. <laughs> Murray probably moved her to his quarters so we can keep a closer eye on her. We can't give up yet. You'll be safe here if you pretend to be one of the kitchen maids, but I need a disguise to infiltrate the upper floors. Could you look around for a Praetorian uniform that I could use? Then I'll be able to sneak inside the lighthouse and help you. Mm -hmm. We're going on the cover, are we? Be careful. All right. Cool. All right. I see you. No, we're gonna have to go back at some point, so I'm. I might do it. Maybe we'll do it in... Yeah, see, I'm not sure. Not sure how we're going to have to go about doing this, because... We have... Which we'll have to check at the main menu. Actually, can we check it from... Achievements? We can. So we got... Seven... More of this guy. Oh, we got, we got all of this. Hey! What is this? Okay, so I think that's just the, the story. So we still need to get the parrot and the octopus. What is this? Okay, these are the different puzzles. Okay, okay. Yes. I, I think I think we just play through the game. Uh and organically find these and then if we haven't found them all by the end of the game then I'll go back and uh, I'll just kind of check out every every screen uh, like every 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 part of the environment till till we find each of them I'm not sure if I'll put that in the video of me doing it or I'll just I'll kind of montage it together if I have to do that um, it's just because it's not going to be that interesting watching me sit there and just kind of stare at the screen until they appear. Alright, well, what do we need to get? A bunch of keys. Well, right there. Uh, marking iron, so like a stencil thing. Barbed wire. Tire pump. Uh, chain. We need one, two... Oh, hey, spider. Chain. And chain. Oh. Okay, we need to move this guy. Boom. A padlock. I feel like I saw a padlock just before. Oh, 
but we're gonna get a moth. A saw. That's a saw. Need to... Oh, torch. A gavel, I saw that just there. Uh... Oh, do we need oil? It says it was rusty. I better brush away the rust. Oh, we need a brush. Boom. Alright. A viper. I'm a snake. I'm a slow little sneaky snake. It's a snake. <laughs> Am I blind? I feel like I'm blind. Oh, there's the lock. Uh, a viper. Where's the snake? <laughs> you know what's weird is that I feel like I saw a snake before, but I... I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got some chains. Oh. Uh, somebody flinch. Uh, flinched? Somebody flinched one of the eyes. I didn't know that that word could be used for that. Man, I learned so much playing these sorts of games. <laughs> uh, I wonder where it is now. Me too. It is emerald and I want it. Okay, well, I got some chains. I got resin. Ooh. Why is a proper key? Or the proper lockpick? Yeah, you see? Sarah been... Sarah... Sarah got some secrets. I think. I think she ain't... She ain't tell nobody. Like, how did she get the stuff for her museum, huh? got me a little bit suspicious. Alright, let's see. Anything on the map telling us to go somewhere? That's where we are. Okay, nothing on the map. So I think we just go up. We got some coffee beans. And for a key to this padlock. I can attach something here. Well, I'm assuming this. Wait, where? Huh? Does that mean I need to get a... Oh, hello. Something attaches here. Is it the chain? Oh. 
something to do in the storeroom. But now we need to pull off. Can we use our knife? See, that's not going to be the case. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So then, what we touch this up here? Ooh. <laughs> I like y'all thinking. I mean, the statue's down here now. Ooh. What? What is that? Golden flakes. Are we gonna make another eye? No? Interesting. Golden flakes. I feel like we're probably gonna make another eye. Alright. Well, let's head on further up. Ooh, what is this? There should be four idols, one on each corner. How did you know that? Yeah, oh, hello. Okay, and another one. Alright, so this is actually... Oh, hello. <laughs> See you there too. This is actually a... I worked on a project back at uni called... Well, I, I called it Below Deck uh, originally. Um, and this is one of the reference images I stumbled across that actually got me onto this series. Like, kind of put this series on my radar. Because I, I remember seeing like a screenshot of this picture. Or like of this uh, this room. So I, I I didn't realize that it was from this game. Cool. Like I thought it was because I, I found a few pictures when I was looking up reference, and I wasn't sure whether it was from this game or whether maybe it's from a just a completely different game. I'm glad though. I'm glad that I came across it because this this game series is is super fun. It's right up my alley in terms of types of games I'm into. Okay, so we gotta make some tea, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, coffee. Oh, okay, so we need the coffee beans. Uh, bring crystal clear water... F uh, wait. Bring crystal clear water from the ice cube block uh, to a boil. Grind coffee beans from the storeroom. Put two spoonfuls of a mocha in the cup. And then pour it into the water. Or pour, th pour the water into it, rather. Uh, delight the drinker's palate. Okay, well. So what, we need the ice. This is a block of ice. Yeah. So can we just use our knife for that? There are more appropriate tools for this. <laughs> I mean, if it does it, it does it, right? Okay. So we need to find a, a nicer knife. Oh, we got another thing. Oh, keys, hello. I will take a you. Sleeping powder. Is that what maybe the resin's for? That's what the gold. So fire with gold to melt it, and we put that into this thing. Uh, then we need some uh, tongs, which we I think we have. So we just need the flour, and we pick off some of the buds. We need three of them. We need. It says H2O2. Uh, 
H2O2, so that's... Water with an extra oxygen molecule. Man, my chemistry is... Uh, I need to, I need to remind myself. I wonder, hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Just do a quick Google. H2O2. Hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if that stopped the audio for the game when I did that. But H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. So we need to get that. Interesting. Gold. I wonder I wonder how accurate this kind of I mean like this recipe is. I wonder if they did any kind of research. I mean, it's probably not gonna be probably not gonna be accurate, but very interesting. Hydrogen peroxide and gold. And then we have a organic flour. So then we need to combine it together. And put it back on the the burner to to I suppose to dry it out, and then we break it up into a powder. Okay. okay. Oh, actually, it says here. Oh, can we put this down? Yes. Definitely. Something else. Go and look over here. Oh, hello. What were you expecting to see, kitchen wench? A handsome prince on a white horse? Get back to your duties. <laughs> and while you're at it, I could use a cup of coffee now. I'm tired of taking care of Kingsmith's safety under the rule of our great benefactor, Mayor Murray. What are you waiting for? I want my cup of coffee right now. Where's my coffee, wench? He call me a wench again, I'll chop off your fingers and feed them to the Kraken. All right, let's have a look in here. Okay, so we need to make an octopus thingy. Uh, what do we need? We need whatever those are. There's one. There's the other tentacle. There's the other one. We got a, a pointy bit. That's there. And the other one's there. We got this piece, and then we got a stick. Oh, we got some garden shears. Does that mean there's going to be a garden to explore? Storeroom. All right. Oh wait, hun. Nope. Okay, so we need to find an idol. Oh, let's go... In. Hydrogen peroxide. Alright. I will take that. And let's have a look in here. Dagger. Oh, an ice pick. Okay, so we get we can pick the ice and we need the coffee beans. I think that's it.
Oh. Mayor Murray is one smart feller. Instead of the dangerous sea battles and hostile ship takeovers, Murray's uh, devish, devish, devised. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm tired. Uh, Murray's devised. A, Murray devised a plan to streamline his violent and messy business. First, he summons the Kraken. Then he commands the beast to attack the ship and then lead them into the shipwreck cemetery. At this point, the Praetorians finish off any unlucky survivors and robs the ship of all their valuables. From time to time, I have, I have the opportunity to torture a captain or first officer and extract intel on hidden cargo or other treasures. Oh, how I love the... <laughs> oh, how I love these moments. <coughs> Finally, we dispose of the bodies. Then we wait for the next suspecting ship. Easy as that. As for the fish curse, I'm learning to like my new fins. I mean, it would be pretty cool. I can't help you until you procure me a Praetorian uniform. Right, well, I'm, I'm assuming the guy up there might be the guy we take the uniform from. Alright, let's have a looky around. Anything on our map? Oh, we got a couple. The catacombs and the kitchen. Well, we know what we have to do in the kitchen, so let's go to the catacombs. An ancient calendar. Well, we need to assemble it because it's broken. It's a Mayan calendar. A uh, golden ring. Parrot skull. What is this? That's a parrot skull. Uh. A bracelet. Alright, compass, eye patch, uh, where's the eye patch? A necklace. Right there. A statu- a statuette? Oh, this is. Oh, maybe this is where the statue is. A jawbone. I saw that. That's there. A bracelet. Let's see. Let's see. Pliers. Helmet. A scroll. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's fit. Bam. Easy. Okay, so we have players to do the... Uh, what you might call it. The coffee beans. Oh, very efficient. Uh, I can force it open with a sharp blade like my a dagger. Oh, gimme. Give gimme give all that. What other ones you got in here? You got a bunch of coffee? Man, look at all of this fancy coffee. 
This is the kind of shipping crate I would enjoy. Looks like we might come back to this since we can click on it again. Alright, let's drop ourselves a kappa. First things first, we pop this in there. Something else goes there. Oh, right there. Alright, now we need to grind the coffee. The coffee grinder is broken and useless. I must find a new one. Correction. A newly stolen one. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Back to the catacombs. Maybe not. This is something here. Yeah. Missing something. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey, we got. I think we have everything to make the sleeping powder. Okay, so we're going to put it into the coffee. Hello, parrot. I see what we're gonna do now. I'll say hello, octopus. So we're going to make the coffee and then we're gonna lace it with our. Our sleeping drug. Alright, let's... See if we can make the sleeping powder first. Oh, hello. We need to assemble this plate. Or this teacup, rather. need the grinder. Let's see. We have everything we need for this. That. Hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So first things first, we need to light this up so we where's the lighter. So we need to melt this. We need to turn this on. Let's scoop that up. And then we put that in Yeah. One of those and we need to use our F1. Two, three. That in there. And then we just need the hydrogen peroxide. Give that a mix. Now, I want to transfer this into this. Put this onto this. I have to take off the coal before I do that. Okay. That. To... Now let's do this. Alright, that's dried out. In... Oh, it's a sieve. Boom. We have some sandman sand. 
Okay, so... Uh, oh, wow. Man, we we whizzed through that. It's already half an hour. I was ready to brew a coffee, but I guess we're going to have to wait till the next episode to do that. Um, yeah. A lot of just kind of doing stuff. Uh, nothing really uh, story-wise. Like, I guess this guy down here is a an evil, torturous type of type of dude that we're probably going to run into. I wonder if it's this guy. Um, but yeah, we didn't get too much uh, addition to the story at the moment. Uh, we just kind of figure out puzzles, solving things in this episode. Uh, but we've made some progress. We got some coffee that we need to brew. We made the sleeping powder. So, I think... We just need to find the coffee grinder and then we can move on. But what, what I'm suspecting, we're going to combine that into the uh, coffee, put him to sleep, and then steal his his clothes to give to old mate. And then we're going to commit some, some stealthful infiltration, I think. So, yeah, that's, so that's going to be what we get up to in the next episode or something along those lines. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this series and you enjoyed this episode and all that sort of stuff, definitely uh, leave a like, drop a comment down below. Getting that kind of interaction in this video uh, and on this channel will kind of just boost uh, the channel. Uh, my goal is to get to 50 subscribers. Uh, so if you're new to this channel and you're enjoying this content, especially if you um, have come from... Uh, from my Resident Evil series and you're checking out this series uh, in fact I'm I'll be curious to know whether you came for this series uh, whether like it was this series that you stumbled across for this channel or whether you came for the Resident Evil series that I'm doing uh, and which one you you like have you watched both of them that sort of thing um, I'd love to know uh, what you guys are enjoying on this channel and I also like to know, because we're, we're kind of getting to the end of the Resident Evil series. Uh, I think there's probably a couple more episodes left in that series. Um, so if you, if you like that series and you want me to play some more really kind of like horror based games, uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Or if you have any other ideas on what other games I should play. Uh, leave a comment down below for that. I've got a couple of games lined up. I think I might play Prince of Persia um, next, or maybe I'll save that. I, I'm a big Prince of Persia fan, uh, so I played the, the games before, but I was thinking about doing a series on this channel of playing the original trilogy, because it's been, it's been quite a few years since I played that. I played that back on PlayStation 2. Uh, so... I've recently purchased the the games on PC, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do a series on that because I know they're doing a HD remake of the um, of the Sands of Time. So I might do that as like a kind of build up to that series or to that new game, and then maybe I'll, I'll play the new game on the channel. So that's something I'm considering. I also have a few other puzzle based games as well. So. Uh, if you have any suggestions on any kind of games you want me to play, or games you might think I might like, all that sort of stuff, leave them in the comments. I'd love to read through and see, uh, and check out those games and see if there's any that um, I'd be interested in checking out and that sort of stuff. So yeah, but uh, we're going to leave it here, and until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will be back in the next episode for episode 10. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.